It's been quiet in the normally bustling business sections of Burlington since most places were closed on March 23rd. However, that is set to slowly start to change. On Monday, May 18th, Governor Charlie Baker outlined a four-phase reopening of non-essential businesses and institutions. Starting Monday, construction and manufacturing was allowed to get back to work, with special precautions. On May 25th, businesses including office spaces, laboratories, hair salons and barber shops, car washes and pet groomers can open, again with special distancing procedures. Remote fulfillment and curbside pickup of some retail will also be allowed. This is part of Phase 1, called START. Phase 2, called Cautious, which will happen in at least three weeks depending on the situation, will include, with restrictions, restaurants, retail, lodging, and additional personal services. The other phases will continue to see more openings and happen at a minimum of three-week intervals. I asked Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce President Rick Parker his thoughts on the plan. I think there was a uh, long deliberation on exactly how the opening was going to was going to happen and, and what the phases were going to mean. Um, I think it's a deliberate um, plan by the governor to do it in a, in a thoughtful manner and keeping business and the economy um, is as well informed as possible. But of course, there were there were a lot of questions and a lot of businesses asking certainly to be on that that initial opening. Of course, in Burlington, one big question is when restaurants will be able to open and when they do, what it will look like and how it'll work. And certainly all of the health data has to be positive in order to go into the second phase. The second phase, the restaurants will be allowed to open at reduced capacity. We're not quite sure what the limitations are going to be on the restaurants, whether it's um, going to be outdoors only, as Rhode Island did, or they'll allow some inside uh, dining. Uh, we're waiting for that type of information and we're trying to get that right now from the state to be ready um, to move into the next into the next phase. The reopening begins. Offices will be at reduced capacity. Masks will be required when social distancing isn't possible and child care will still be an issue. As retail opens, it will also be different than before the pandemic started. The, the biggest change you'll see is it's, it's going to be similar to what it's what you're seeing now in um, in the supermarkets. People have to stay away from each other. It'll certainly be at reduced capacities and there'll be a little bit of um, of the adaptation is going to be a little bit awkward going forward. This is, you know, what we're calling the new normal um, as we work our way back to what, what we used to know. Finally, Rick said the more people adhere to the rules and take precautions to stay safe, the faster we'll be on the track to getting back to normal. What we want all businesses and all customers to know Going forward, especially in this first phase, we don't go to the second stage without those health data numbers being um, in a positive direction. We're asking all businesses and customers to please abide by the rules to help us get to that second stage where other businesses could be allowed to open and bring the economy back to some sense of normalcy. With BACC President Rick Parker over video conference, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.